time in Whitfield Town with the Member of Parliament and with the health team essentially to assess the, the work that we have been doing in the area of, since the last week when we announced the, 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 the quarantine arrangements. We have been here over 16 days. We have distributed over 14,000 masks and, and sanitizers and we are imploring persons to come out get tested wherever we have found our positive. We have done all the necessary contact tracing and refer the family members and persons who we think are at risk to be tested and persons are cooperating. Uh, I'm told that you have uh, so far identified 16, 16, positive, 16 cases. positive cases in addition to what was there before we triggered our entry. Um, every case is potentially a case that can spread and it only takes one case and the interaction with the community, particularly densely populated communities like this one, for you to have a, a, a spread of the virus. We have also taken an approach to join these exercises between COVID response and the dengue response. So the vector control team is also in the area because let's face it, if we're gonna have persons in the area, we may as well look at the, the, the state of dengue or the Aegis aegypti mosquito, which you know is now the, the season for that. And the index in this area, I'm told, is about 15%. We have to get it down. It's not that high. But every time it rains or drought and you truck water in and you store water in containers, you're going to get an increase in the incidence of breeding. The last thing we want as public health, or the country, frankly speaking, is to have a dengue outbreak with COVID. Because that would mean be a double whammy for, for all of us. It would mean persons requiring hospital care, greater demand on the system, already burdened and stressed out system. And of course, to the individuals who are so impacted, you don't want to have dengue and COVID at the same time. Because and that flu. is going to really be a disaster. So I want to use the opportunity to spread the anti-dengue message also. Uh, dengue is endemic to Jamaica, the Aegis aegypti mosquito. We will always have them around and they will always represent a risk and during this time that risk is that much greater because of COVID. So say to citizens again, say to Jamaica, do what you can to destroy breeding sites, work with the vector control workers, they are all over the place, they are branded and the COVID community health aides and the public health team so that we can really take care of what is happening. We have two communities now under this quarantine arrangement. These are not going to be the last two communities. From all indications, and based on the trigger that we use, where other communities have spikes based on the numbers, and we are now mapping about three or four other communities that are likely to be in a similar situation as these. We will go into the area, we will trigger through cabinet decision the quarantine arrangements, and we will seek to cauterize the spread or further spread. And as I said, there are about four or five now that we're looking at. I'm not prepared to say what, where they are. The team is out doing some initial surveillance. Depending on what the numbers reflect, what the potential risk represents, we will announce as we go along how we intervene. Coming in and just adding the support, the visible support to the team that has been on the ground and doing the work is um, extremely important. Um, especially because when you first came in and it was um, advertised, people were a little bit skeptical and so on. I've been here before, Minister, and I've done a little walkthrough. I've seen the team on the ground. I've seen individuals cooperating. I think when we say stigma, it's really a fear of stigma. And so because there's that fear of being stigmatized, I think it is important for us to implore everybody. Getting tested is important, you know, so you shouldn't be loading up anybody because they're getting tested. Even individuals who test positive, it could be you or I. So there's also no need to blow that up either. You know, where we are in the um, community um, spread, any one of us could get it. What is important is to identify, to do the testing and do the tracing. And um, I mean, that's what is being done. So I applaud the effort of just reinforcing it in the community so that we can actually keep our people safe.